So in a couple of our previous videos, we asked you guys what you would like to see autopilot tested on. This is one of those that did get a lot of comments. So we actually tested autopilot on a ramp between two highways. So basically exiting one and taking the ramp onto another. So we actually filmed this test the other day when we were doing some other filming and we were on 2017.50.2. Now we are on 2017.50.3. It could be different. I don't know, I'll still have to play around with it some more, maybe get some other footage. But for now, this is what it was like on 2017.50.2. Oh, it's kind of... I haven't tested it here before, but we'll see. Oh, looks like it might not allow us to test it here, so we've got to go way down to 40. Oh, 45 here. Okay, we are testing out the autopilot. I think it's working. Oh, had to take over there. It's a little too fast. It's not letting me turn it back on. Fortunately, there's a car right behind Scott. He's not like. 45, whoa, it's, mm, mm, it's still a little rough there. I'm gonna have to try that one again. It was kind of able to do that curve at 45 miles an hour. I would have liked to have tested a little bit more, but there was a car that was right behind us, so we couldn't uh, speed up or slow down as much as I would have liked. I haven't tested it here before, but we'll see. If, oh, looks like it might not allow us to test it here, so. Gotta go way down to 40. Oh, 45 here. Okay, we are testing out the autopilot. I think it's working. Oh, had to take over there. It's a little too fast. It's not letting me turn it back on. Fortunately, there's a car right behind Scott. He's not like, uh, 45. Whoa. That's, mm. It's still a little rough there. I'm gonna have to try that one again. So as you saw it, really couldn't do it. And it's not something that's surprising either. Tesla's autopilot is not meant to be going on on-ramps or off-ramps really yet. So I'm not really surprised that it couldn't do it, but at least now we kind of have an idea of what it could do. It seemed that turn was pretty tight for it to go 40 miles an hour. So perhaps that's something that will be improved upon in the future too. But again, just FYI, yes, we did know it probably couldn't do this, but we want to test it out. A lot of you guys wanted to see how it would do. So there you have it. Simply put, super quick video, it couldn't, at least not yet. I definitely think something like this will be rolling out in a future update, probably sooner than later. So we'll definitely have to keep our eyes on this. But yeah, that's all for this Friday. Just a super quick video, wanted to show you guys this. We have a lot of other suggestions that we've gone through and want to test out for you guys. If you still have any suggestions, definitely put them down in the comment section down below. And if you are looking for a Tesla, definitely check out our website, teslainventory.com. If you are looking for a referral code, you feel free to use ours. It's down in the description below or at the top of our website. If you do end up using it, shoot me an email through the website. That way I have your contact information. So when we take delivery of our next gen roadster, we can either have you guys out or be sure to meet up with you because really without your help and support, none of this would be possible. So really appreciate everything. Definitely thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Go ahead and click here, subscribe here for some more, and we'll see you on Monday. Bye. I was just